Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here in uh, midway through the Descent DLC. We are in the um, camp uh, that the Legion of the Dead has set up and we need to go back down to the low levels. Uh, this is the third level. The Ruins of Hadron Taig, yes. Uh, oh, hang on. Ah, oh, no, no, wait, wait. It was there. It was there that we uh, th that we left off. And I think the operation we completed should let us go down there now. Yeah, so there's a bridge now. Gotta pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, anyway, yeah, so let's descend. It's very worrying. Okay, so supplies replenished, we don't need to replace them anyway, we're pretty much full. Okay, so let's get... Let's just get on this lift before any other horrible noises crop up and ruin our day. So we can't move on here. Keep your mouth closed when fighting Darkspawn. Their blood's poison. I appreciate the advice. Thanks for the warning. There was this Carter boy. Vaughn. Who joined the Legion around the same time I did. Fast with daggers. Could poke 50 holes in a hurlock before the blighter knew what happened. Skilled man. Daggers are messy. Vaughn swallowed some spatter. Took him three days to die. Oh, man. You need to work on your stories, Grizzly. Yeah, it's... It, I mean, it's, it's not the most uplifting, encouraging story. Like, we're going down into the deep roads, and he's like, you know what, we're probably going to die. Um... <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so follow Volsa through Hadron Tyke. Right, okay. Jesus, right. I wonder if those lifts were like... The soldier in the roads once. She fell down a hole. Found her three days later. He loves this story. She spent a whole day telling us all the strange things she saw while lost. A golden longboat floating in the air. Packs of hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day. Couldn't remember any of it. Maybe we'll find out if it's true. Exciting. Uh, yeah, I wonder if those lifts were like Bioware going. You know what? Mass Effect, Mass Effect One was really good. The <laughs> the elevator scenes were the best parts. Let's let's revisit those. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Like I don't mind it because it kind of provides an opportunity for 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 dialogue, which is uh, which is fine. Um, because dialogue and kind of character building and relationships are massive parts of, uh, the Bioware style RPGs. Um, but, yeah. Bit long. Bit long. What's that? Collect- oh, there's another Bloodstained Ancient Gear. Right, so we- so we do have another door to unlock somewhere. As we've only collected six of eight in the uh, in the war. Okay, so we're not opening doors, but we're just collecting things. Okay. So we have more to collect in the Warrens. Apparently, we didn't explore it thoroughly enough. I thought we were pretty pretty good with it, but apparently not. That's fine. Summerstone. I don't recognise that. Maybe I'm just have a very bad memory. I don't remember collecting collecting much Summerstone though. Right, so here's another gear, which we'll pick up. That was like the second of about 20 odd though, wasn't it? So obviously this this is going to be a much more expansive area than the Warrens was. And we still missed stuff in the Warrens, so obviously we're not that thorough in our investigations of things. Okay, I see one gear there. If I collect that, that's fine. Another supply cache. Strange that there's a supply cache at the top and the bottom of the elevator. At least we can come back down here if we need to 
free supply, though. Jesus wept. That's a bit concerning, isn't it? That's just a little bit concerning. Anything to find. Oh. Nice. So can we just drop down here? I think we can. So we got one bloodstain ancient gear. That's our third of this area. There's one up there as well. And on here somewhere, there should be... Ah, here we are. Ah, is it this little mound here? It is. There's a chest. Lovely. That's good. One side of the gold, a formation shield, a belt of fire resistance, and a Valos Atridum, which is a level 26 sword. And Cassandra has to be level 21 to use it. Wow. Yeah, we are... We're probably down here earlier than what we actually should be. Um, but, you know. If we get to a point where we we start struggling, we can easily come back. We can easily leave and come back again. It just means that the chances are we're probably, we're probably going to blitz through other areas, which... You know, it's fine. We don't mind that, do we? Was that the only gear? I think I thought there was a gear like up somewhere around here. I think that I'm sure there was meant to be. Oh, they that what the shit. Boom. Okay. I swear I saw a gear in like a higher area. Just come back down here again. I'm sure I saw a gear in the upper area. Now I can't see it. Was I going crazy? Like, was I going, like, properly insane? I think... I think I might have been going insane. Potentially, might have been going insane. Yeah. I think I was going insane. Oh, okay, so... Oh, our guys are now fighting, right? I think we should probably defer from this gear hunting expedition and uh, go and fight with them. Since it's, it, you know, it, it, it only seems fair that I should get involved. So these guys were fighting are only level 15, I think it's still, so that's not too bad. We can deal with, with uh, level 15ers. Well, as long as I'm not trying to bully Dorian like they are right now. Maybe, maybe that was the gear we saw. Maybe. Velveteen. Dream. Uh, another gear. I hope those gears aren't in two obtuse locations. Like, if it, if it's plausible, I might go back and try and find find the rest of them. But I don't know. It seems like it might be a bit of a tricky, tricky thing to do. Oh. So we can install the gears. These hand-stamped smudged ink letters are barely legible, overlapping each other in tight spirals on the parchment. Redemption should fall a sacrifice. The creator promised me I end without hope. Every command a lie. Each task a trap. Divided I am conquered. The sigil breaks me. Okay, so we can open this door. So there's two doors in here which can be opened with gears. So if we find some more we can come back. Chest here to loot. A tier four longsword schematic. That's always nice. Does this have to be? Does this need more gears? I don't think it does. No, it does not. Hello, darky spawn. Archer. Dorin, watch yourself. Don't be getting caught in a crowd of enemies. That can only end badly. I almost lost my leg to a herlock a few years back. Left a nasty scar. 
How'd you get away? Kicked her with the other leg. <laughs> Seriously, keep your guard up. They'll use your tongue as jewelry. Oh. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusted Cassandra noises. <laughs> is, 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 is the best way to describe that, I think. Let's look at the map here. Uh, yes, yeah, so this... This, this area is pretty, pretty expensive, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's just, let's just go where the wind takes us. Let's try not to get caught up in covering everything just yet. Which is something I am quite often guilty of. On broken knees, quest completed. What was that? Was that maybe the Grey Warden? Which just failed to update? Possibly. Oh, deep stalkers. Nice, 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 nice. Right, we're almost at level 16. Well, I am anyway. I don't know about the rest of them. If I can loot that, that'd be great. There we are. Another gear. I said they're not running off to fight the ones over there, yeah, are they? Not quite yet. Why do the stalker corpses seem to just vanish like that? It's not. It's odd. Oh! Right, so this just loops round. Okay. I get you. I'm with you now. So do I do I have enough gears with this one to uh, open the other door over here yet, or do I have to? Am I, am I gonna have to come back? Let's just heal first, just to be on the safe side. Oh, the other door was over here, wasn't it? Do we have enough? We do. Gates of Segramar. The words on this torn parchment are handwritten in ink as rusty as dried blood. Nice. Terrible to sacrifice one's own child with a lie. I prayed on perfectly trusting faith, but how could I explain my desperation? The deep roads w wind in deceit de deceitful spirals, concealing the sigil from casual observance. I could not discern its true pattern until I stood in the fade and gazed down upon the vast malevolent engraving. Its artist remains unknown, but its horrifying intent was all too clear. As was my necessity, I only wish it had not cost you my only child. I could not build the lock barriers that would carve the marks and break the sigil. You alone could save us all, but only by destroying yourself, and I'll let you do it. Forgive me. The rest of the text is illegible scratches, the lines and swirls from a disturbing pattern if stared at too long. So someone went some someone went through some real strife down here. Open this door. I imagine there'll be some goodies down here. 276 gold, Battlemaster armor, a tournament axe, and a superb stamina amulet. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, Cassandra might be able to wear that armor. Not yet, and it's not even as good as the one she's got on, so we'll, so we'll leave that. Uh, and the stamina amulet. Probably because they've been, they've been inside chests, I'm guessing. Uh, so, stamina amulets. Uh, amulet of aggression. Varric. Ah, well, yeah, might as well give him that one. That's just a boost on what he's got now. Cool. And don't stab the chest. That is probably not a good idea. Turn, turn around and go poison spider with a canary slasher and a ring of sundering. Can anyone use the Ring of Sundering? Uh, I've got a critical chance. Uh, I do like my Twin Fans Ring. Ah, I'll put Sundering on. Boom. There we go. Good stuff. Right, so that's both those doors opened. So we know we've kind of... Uh, went over everything in this area. There's, there's another two deep stalkers in here. I know that for a fact. And it looks, it looks like there's actually three of them. Oh, there's also a spider. Oh, 
Also a spider. Lovely jubbly. Again, I, ju I just need my van to, 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 to drive around with like a big old ex exterminator logo on because uh, the amount of spiders we're probably going to end up killing by the end of this DLC is going to be pretty high. Hello there, Genlock. Did you just swing your sword at nothing? The Genlock's not hitting me, so that is fine. You can just keep on bonking it from behind. There we go. I think the Genlock was actually hitting me there. Oh my god, there's four of the Ancient Gears here. Nice. Two... Three... And... Four. So if we come across any other doors now, we'll probably be quite well... Uh, well prepared. So we can't seem to go anywhere further this way. Was there another turn off that I missed? There's another enemy in this cave apparently, which I... Cassandra, can you please move? Thank you very much. Yeah, there seems to be another enemy in this cave, which I didn't see before. So the spider. Pretty sure that that's the same spider that was sat there a minute ago. Either way, it's dead now. That's fine. I don't know whether these caves have the power of resuscitation, but uh, can't rule it out, I guess. So we only need another nine uh, gears now, compared to what we started with, so... That pile has helped us greatly in that regard. I think this is the right way. Yes, I believe it is. Yes, I remember now. I remember now. I remember where we're going. We didn't go that way, though. Yeah, it's fine. We come back. Actually, are, are we even, even able to go that way? Let me just take a quick look. Before I commit to anything. Oh, there's a thing here which I didn't even lose. How did I miss this? Must have been being blind. So that's one of the doors. There's some spindleweed here. See, I'm pretty sure we can't actually go that way, can we? Oh, is that what the map is looking at? Or is that just, or is it down? It doesn't seem to be anything, to be honest. We can't get over there at the minute, as far as I can see. Nah, we can't. Definitely can't, that's fine. Just wanted to make sure before I, uh, before I commit to going anywhere. So, let's go and find out what else Hadron Tag has to offer us. It's been uh, it's been an interesting-ish DLC so far. It's uh, it's not been fantastic, but it's certainly not been bad. It's definitely been quite challenging as compared to what the original the OG game has been throwing at us. But oh, there's more enemies. Yeah, I, th I think these guys are obviously respawning if I go too far away from them. So yeah, that that spider's back again. Right, let's just ignore all those and carry on as to where we were going this way. Do, 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 do. Heard another bit of a, a bit of a growl there from somewhere. I don't know where it was, but it can be good. Iron up there, which I can't reach. Spindleweed. Do I didn't expect there to be that many like herbs growing down here in the deep roads, given the you know severe lack of light that that is coming from this area. But apparently there is. Maybe they don't need that much sunlight to grow. I don't know. Oh, 
Under the door for gears. I heard the hero of Ferelden came down here during the blight. Cardall met the warden, but I never had the pleasure. You often see grey wardens. From time to time. They're a good bunch. Tough in a fight. Fearless. I would agree with that. Okay, that is another gate installed, but we're going to leave that here for now, guys. Next episode, we'll press through this gate and see what else we can find in Hadron Tig. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.